are a couple of different ways to let your mobile app know which analytics account to use. You can do it programmatically or you can use an XML configuration file. In this lesson, we're going to use an XML file to configure our analytics tracker. You'll need to create a new XML file in the res XML folder. Go to res, choose new, Android resource directory. The name of the directory is XML. Now that you've got your XML folder, you create a new resource file. You can call the file what you like. I suggest something like track underscore app dot XML. You'll need to make sure that the root element is resources. The most important thing to put in the analytics config file is the analytics account ID. Do that by adding a string resource that has the name GA underscore tracking ID. The value is your analytics ID. And remember that you can get your account ID from the analytics admin dashboard. So to start with in our app, we're going to enable automatic tracking. So you'll need to add the string resource GA underscore auto activity tracking to the config file. The auto activity tracking needs to be set to true. This is the minimum you need in your tracking config file, but I strongly recommend you also configure screen names.